Hello and welcome back to Tharic Place Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. We are still inside the Phantom Forest and we are in its initial area. We figured out or we found a lot of stuff last time. Um, and I assume basically all of it is interconnected somehow. Uh, so right now I'm just trying to explore more as far as we can. We have pretty much reached most of what we might be able to do though so we'll we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen there maybe i'm i'm wrong um but for now we came across these death knights who used to be invulnerable or still are but everybody from our group knows how to uh knows how to um remove the invulnerability so i think it is time that we try this out and see how difficult uh, how difficult fighting these guys actually is oh there's another group of two right there okay that might be why uh, why you maybe want to fight them from the other side we'll see okay no so right now it's only these three so maybe they'll join in but I'm not sure so it's one per death knight? Oh boy. That is going to be interesting. Uh, so we can't make all of them vulnerable at the same time apparently. And it is... It does have three turn cooldown. So I also can't fight too many of those in a row. That's valuable information. Which also means right now he can't do that much. So let's examine them. What can they do? So they are weak against crushing damage, they ha are immune against water, and they have resistance against fire, earth, and poison, but no air. Which means if I go with head vice, it should deal a decent amount of damage. Yeah, that's fine. And him being blinded is not the worst thing uh, to happen to us as well, of course. Next up we have Medora, who can... Uh, remove the invulnerability from this one. And then what would be next right now? Do I battering ram and try to knock both of these down? Probably yes. Can I? No, encourage would cost three. I could rage first. Sure, I'm gonna try out going rage again just because it's yeah it decreases my chance to hit but increases damage and all that stuff and it should still be good here i hope we'll see okay knockdown failed on the one that's blinded and worked on the other one so that's basically fine oh they cause fear though okay that is bad and they're also high damage so that's also bad let's remove that invulnerable and so what's next for her probably just shooting but I yeah there's no way for me to remove to remove um, feared is there at least through these weak blind mute infected okay um, Maybe through items, but I don't know. So they are going to be feared, which means... Are they going to run? I don't remember right now. Let's just go with the damage. We'll we'll go in there and uh, start off with, with a ricochet. I'm hit. I'm hit. Pretty decent. And let's see. So Jahan. He might be able to do something against fear, I think. Let's check this. Uh, slow target, avatar of arms, no. Also no. Or maybe he can't? I don't know, but we're gonna go with the chain lightning now. Because I wanna try that, finally. Um, yeah, we can deal damage to all of them. We have a chance to stun all of them. We only stunned one, but it does deal a really decent amount of damage. That's perfect. And let's see, maybe I should have healed Medora, but yeah, not much we can do about that now. Oh god, yeah, this is horrible. 
She resisted death, but she's still feared, and they run when they're feared. Okay, that is horrible. Oh, no. Yeah, Medora is going to go down. Wow. Okay, and she's very far away now as well. My god, do they deal damage. What? No, I'm not going to do that. I apologize, but no. How the hell? I feel better already. I see this is what? I feel better already. That's so bad. Is that once again because I'm I'm undergeared? I don't I mean yeah, we don't have armor absorption, so Let's check for Medora. How much does she have right now? 43% still, and she still basically went down so fast. How do you... Yeah, we'll have to wait for these guys to come back, and then she went last, so she's gonna... Do this first once they move back into range. There we go. So that basically still worked and we can start dealing damage to him. Although I would really like to... Okay, yeah, we don't need line of sight so I can actually remove that back there. He's closest though so I should probably go for this one since that one's the one that's furthest away. And then what's next? Do I assume that these can't do much? Yeah, I think I'm gonna start out with a head vice on him. Blind him. So we need to play a bit of a dangerous game with these guys. Right now. Yeah, so we can't reach this one right now. Which means Medora will delay her turn for now. Let's see. He won't move. He's going to move towards us, though. Hopefully, he won't be able to attack us. He does, but only once, and it is on Medora. So that is okay right now. What's that? 153. Oh, so he uses head vice, but I can't be blind, apparently. Wow, that's too much. That is way too much. I could arrow spray here, which should possibly kill both. Or I could just focus it on one. I could also set up a spider, basically. But I think killing one of them quickly might be worth it. This one can take damage, so let's focus on him. not quite enough, but we're close. And then first aid on Medora for the little bit of healing that it does. It might save her life. Possibly. Now, how much does the teleport cost? The teleport costs too much. That's four. Yeah, okay. You delay. She can then get rid of his invulnerability so that Jahan doesn't need to do that. And then do I whirlwind in the hopes that it's going to kill the one down here? I think we do. We missed the one down there, but we got a critical up there. That's still not good. But we've got some options. So I could chain lightning here. But I think trying to spread the, the love around basically would be better. So here we're just going for range. I don't care that they could take damage. I just don't want him to be close to us. If we can avoid that, please. How much does he have left? 163. Could kill him. But no, he's gonna have um, absorption. Nether swap won't be enough. The shocking touch could sh stun him, though. But Medora will get more hits, so I'm going to save my points. Oh, 
do I, am I really am I really counting on Medora here? Yes, we are. I, I'm gonna haste her and end his turn there. And I really hope that that's not going to come around to to bite me. Okay, so we start with this. Which means I try to hit him once to kill him. We do. Wow, they give a lot of XP though. And then we encourage... Good. And I'm going to end my turn there, I think. We could go Shackles of Pain, but I don't know. Oh, well, actually, no. Let's see. So he could deal some damage. Now, what does he do? He... Oh, he fears. He only feared Tharik, though. One hit. Two hits. And there's the last one. God damn, these guys are so scary. What the hell? This is still so terrifying. Um, what do I do? How much does he have? 550? Do I just go in with this? And hope that it's enough? I guess so. It's a high damage skill. Yeah, 303 on each. We could go with the Chain Lightning and hope that that does its thing, but I don't think that's the, the smart play, necessarily. Um, I need to see about... Uh, do I? That doesn't do enough damage. The Head Vice is there. We could put them in... We could put Ice between us. But I can do that after the head vice as well. So go with this. Blind failed. But I can still do the ice wall and we can trap this one inside some ice and that should kill the other one. Oh no. I forgot they're immune. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Is that going to hit him? No, we can't see the target. She also can't see the target. Oh, crud. Um, I could w w move her. So I think she's just going to focus on healing. I'm going to bandage wounds. And then she is going to use a... Large healing potion. Into the fray once there we go. And then we can't see these targets. They're both frozen, apparently, though. So I can move a bit more, but I'm gonna move on the edge of this. Like so, and hopefully now we can... Okay, can actually hit him with a crippling blow like that better, so he's dead, so there's only one left right now. Uh, what do we do about that one? Let's oil him. It's damage for these things as well, but uh, we'll, we'll have to work with that. And move away a bit, please. Let's see, so he doesn't do anything. Can I heal her still, or no? Okay, we also don't need to, necessarily. Um, anything that I can hit him with. Nah, I'm not sure we can really... No, there he is. So we could target him inside this, but I'm not sure it would work. So I guess I'm gonna go with summoning... Zombie Nick. Yeah, let's just put him there. See what we can do there. And hopefully we can we can deal with that. So apparently he can attack him. We just need to move him all the way around. And now we're oiled, so that slows us down a bit further. But we can deal damage, so that's good. 
But goddamn, is this scary. Okay, yeah. Let's just do overkill or wind tail blast. No, they are still ice. Ice baby. Um, so yeah, I want to go overkill. It's going to hit Nick, but I don't care. There we go. So he's dead. And now we're all good. Um, got that veteran. Oh. Unidentified veteran jack of plates. Lawmaster 5. Full plate armor and veteran leather mask. A hinebrium bar. Another one. So this seems good though. But my god, these guys are. are scary. Um. I don't have the right lore master right now, so I do need to go back to putting on that lore master ring real quick. As well as... Oh yeah, and the other lore master ring as well, so now we need to do this. Or both of those. These two at least I can switch. Okay, now I should be able to identify the stuff that Medora has. Let's repair her helmet real quick. And here we go. So that's leather armor, correct? It's dexterity armor, yes. It's 88 armor rating initiative. Let's send that to Chiowell and see what she can make of that. This one would be for her herself. I would lose armor rating. Yeah, no, I don't think that's going to happen, though. I like... Inflict frozen on contact is really good, though. Yeah, and I gain movement, sure. It's just two armor rating. I hope that's going to be okay. Also dexterity, so also Chia well. Let's check with her. So first of all, we've got this one. 88. I lose initiative. No, I don't. I'm getting immunity to poisoned. I don't inflict stun on contact, but it's definitely better. Yeah, no questions asked. And here I would end up losing armor rating, though. Uh, and I like the plus three initiative more than I like the... Uh, armor specialist there, so we're gonna keep it that way. Let's send that back to Medora. Okay, this is fine. God damn, these guys do deal a lot of damage, though. So I should probably kill the two over there now, as uh, next. Before we move down here, because apparently that's an entire area I can I can check out. But I want to move towards the, the Source Temple entrance as well. So this is what we are going to start with. There's stuff up here. We can go past this. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff to scout over here. So I'm going to do the same thing I did the last time. So we're going to move in a little bit. No, that's water. They are... They are capable of using Aerotherge spells. We can't allow them to to hit us in, in water and stun us all. So we'll do this. Need to be a teensy bit closer. Oh! Oh! Really? They don't have a lot of range. So I can use that on them. Like this, without them noticing, and then I am going to meteor shower the crap out of them. That makes things a lot easier. Hi, guys. Wow, you're almost dead already. At least one of you is. So isn't that lovely? Um, I really like that. We do still have to be careful, though, so let's go with the head vice on the one that has more hit points left right now. He is blinded, so that's lovely. And then I can... I could thunder jump, but I really don't want to. So instead, I think he's going to end his turn there and just wait. Medora... Oh, there's three? Where's the third one? Seriously, where's the third one? But there's three being displayed here. Um, yeah, let's encourage because that also gives us more health. 
And then she doesn't do anything this round, I think. Yeah, let's see. So he's blinded, he won't move. This guy will take more fire damage, but he went a very short way out of the fire. Headvice on Thalric, that's fine. Oh, he's all the way back there, okay. So he's gonna take a while longer to show up. It's interesting that he's part of this group. Oh wow, it doesn't actually take that long for him to show up. My god, can they run far? He's also too far away. Do I want to summon in a poison slug back there? Yes, we do that. I summon that right in front of him. And hopefully that thing can, can soak up some damage for us there. And then she does nothing else. He does need to... Get this guy though, which means we need to run a teensy bit closer here. Let's get up to there. Remove the invulnerability from this Joker. And then he is almost dead. And I'm gonna try to headvise him to just uh, kill him. There we go, thank you. So that works. And then we've got the blob. Uh, he doesn't know anything about them. I could... Yeah. I'm gonna hit the one back here with this. Oh, that is really good damage, actually. So let's see what we can do here now. Do I want to summon in more or do I want to try to just deal more damage? What does he have again in terms of once we've got fire and water? So the water is still bad, correct? Yeah. Fire and air are okay here, I think. Um, so I could just go in and summon this guy as well. I think we might do that. And him over there is... What? It didn't work? It didn't happen. He just died inst inter instantly. Interesting. Let's see if we can freeze him. We've seen that they can be frozen. Yeah, there we go. So we're going back to play the control game here. Uh, sure. Yeah, let's ram her in there. That sounds wrong. And then we can flurry this one. Wow. Okay. I'm okay with that. And cripple, please. He might just die as well. Yeah, good. We just... I, wow, they are mean. But goddamn, this worked well. Boots. Those. I also forgot to switch his rings back, which right now turns out to be a good thing. But boy oh boy, these guys are are, are not going to be fun to, to have around the entire time. 42 ammo rating, they are strength based, so they are for her, but hers are just better still. Wow. Let's identify this. Leather bracers. Dexterity crossbow pickpocketing. Let's send those to Chiawell. And then we've got this amulet. There's one bartering, but it, it's not that impressive aside from that, so we don't really need that, I think. And with Chiawell, let's check this again. 41. Oh, definitely better. Definitely better. Way better. God damn. No comparison. So here we are. Let's move towards where the one guy came from. So up this path and just see where it would lead us. And if there's more death knights around. So we've already seen this area. We have not gone up towards this. And I think we also haven't walked this way. Or talk this way, as we know. Oh, yeah, so that's where the Void Demon was that I tried to avoid initially. Um, okay, I'm gonna go back right now and we are going to check out this area first. 
That's an immaculate sign, so that's the source temple. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Any more here? There is another void demon there. And there's also a portal here. Big question is, what does that portal do? Do I want to find out right now? Yes. What's this? I found something. Okay, what? Where are we? So we're on the wing here. We've got this. By the way, he still needs to... One for Draconia, Earth, Wand of Ruin, 131. Oh, it's Earth. It's definitely more damage than what he has right now. Ah, uh, yes, equip. Also gained the skill Tectonic Spray from Geomancer. Creates oil, okay. Has a chance to petrify. But good one. And then... He needs to get one other ring as well again. This one. There we go. So there's a chest over there that we can get by teleporting somebody over there. By somebody I mean Chiowell right now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Can I get... It doesn't appear like it would help me to get over there from here. Okay, so now those we can't identify, so I'll just have to instantly switch his uh, stuff back again. Oh, uh, wait. No. Like this? No? What's up with that now? So I've got the Lore Master Ring. We are looking at the other Lore Master Ring, please. Which is this one. And now he can identify that, maybe? So the one-handed weapon, we don't really care about, obviously, since we still don't have somebody that uses those, but this one we also don't care about. Yay. Isn't that helpful. Um, so let's get her back, I guess. So she can get that one, and then we want this one. So now he doesn't have these anymore. Yes. Okay. And please teleport her back to us. Okay, there is... Oh, this one. The bloody chest doesn't look very inviting, to say the least. And there is a corpse right there. So what do we do with this? And can we open this up, by the way? Let me try to do that. I want to see what happens. Nothing happens. There is all of this here, which seems like it might do something, but I don't know. So this is some way to enter this? I have no idea. But let's just follow this path for now and see where it leads us. And okay, the bloody chest is locked. I cannot really pick lock well. Oh, there is a key next to it, though. A bloody key. So, what could go wrong? Nothing yet, which surprises me. So, let's identify. Uh, Ooh, just the HP. Also, not something we desperately need right now, I think. So nothing bad happened, which surprises me. There was another chest over there. What is this place, basically? It's free loot right now, so I don't mind, but still. Uh, to well, and we still need to put on the other ring again, though. Lore Master. There we go, and identify, please. Also not something we desperately need. Could you just be a little bit more exciting, please? That would be kind of lovely. And go over to Chiowell. We should heal her as well. 
and I want to see about that crossbow right now. It is not better than the one we're using. Yeah, okay. It does have a chance to set stun, though, which is pretty valuable in itself. But I don't think the lower damage would outweigh the 20% chance per shot there uh, to get that. Oh! Okay, so it does this. Well, oh no. Just move everybody out of there, please. And then we go for a mass heal real quick. That's going to tick for a while while we continue looting here. And hopefully that'll be okay. I assume it might still lead to a fight at the end, maybe. But who knows? Back on my feet again. Maybe there's something here? Into the fray once more. Or where is it going to... Oh, okay, so it, I would have gotten here on my own if I had entered this. So now I think we're just going to fight the Void Demon since we're already here. They might drop items that would allow us to... Oh, there's a trap. Whoops. Hi. Oh, that was a trap. Yeah, so this guy is... Whoopsie. So they're weak against water. They are resistant against fire, though. So this guy... Oh, what's... What about air? Air, they're also pretty resilient to. So, Tharik has earth and water damage right now on his on his stuff yeah that seems like the smart thing to do the blind from the air would be nice though but I think just going straight up for damage might be the best thing he can do here let's see how much he deals yeah the second one is the big one and I do get two hits so we'll take both of those Oh, and he got crippled. That's cool. Can we get her into reach that she can just flurry him to death? I think we can. I'm not sure if that's going to deal enough damage, but okay, it definitely does. Well, that takes care of things. Sweet relief. A shadow essence and an unidentified decorative elven shield that I'm not going to identify right now because we don't have anybody that can really use that. So I'm still missing a key item here, I feel like, in entering this place. Could you just stop exploding all over the place, please? That would be kind of nice. <laughs> if you could do that. But let's go back where we came from, and then we, we still have, have ways to go. There was the, the, the second Void Demon, and um, I think there might be other stuff as well. I mean, yeah, we can go down to here, towards the swamp, and check out that area. I could be suicidal, or maybe check out this guy here that was level 19 with the, the, the uh, dead birds. Uh, not dead birds, with the, with the guy that... that I was thinking, yeah, because animals. Because he's removing whatever from the animals there and then releasing them back so they have no voice any longer. It's it's weird. I don't understand what he does. But he does something and we might want to stop him. But he's level 19 and marked as an elite enemy so or a boss or whatever you want to call them. So I'm kind of worried about that one, which means I would like to fight him when I'm level 19 myself. We're halfway there. But we still got some ways to go, I guess. So should I just... Could I just get him from back here with a splintered arrow as well? Yeah, I think so. Back on my feet. So just start this off with her because she goes last and that's already a really good chunk of damage against her there. And yeah, he was just hitting like this, exactly. Let's try again. I could also try to freeze him since we do have the points left over for this. Ah, it failed though. That's fine. And Medora once again. Yeah, I think we have to take the three though in this case. Uh, but it would leave me enough with Flurry still. And that means this should be the kill already again. Goodbye. Yeah, because I always get one crit. And one crit alone is pretty much enough. 
So that's where this is, which right now does not really help us. This main entrance is also not open. Yeah, and we cannot enter it, and it does not do anything, which means this looks like it has an elemental component again, as we can see here. But I don't think there there was a marking on the outside, maybe, that we could start, which would start this and unlock the entire event for us. Let's take a quick peek around the outside here, first of all. No, I don't see anything. So, yeah, let's go over in this direction, and then we can go down this way, which is where we weren't so far, and then I'm gonna move towards that waypoint first. I assume there's going to be something in the way of it still. And we'll just have to wait and see what it's going to be. Uh, yes, take those. Yeah, there's more Death Knights down there. At least one right now. Oh, no, there's definitely more than one right there. Okay. And in this case, I might want to take the time and try to... Can I see them? Yes. There it is. That's one. Crap, move closer. Okay, we can't grab him there. But I'm going to keep it that way. They will come back. Okay, it's three back there as well. But Chiawell can catch another one. Right there. And then we only have one left again. We could also open up the fight from up here. But I think that would be a little bit boring. So what we'll do instead is catch the third one, hopefully, uh, on their their way back down. He might be a little bit far away. But maybe we'll get lucky with him as well. No, it looks good, I think. Come on. No, okay, we didn't get him. So we'll, it's fine, we'll just move up to where they're going to, to see us now, and then I, once they, I can still do that while they move up, basically, or I open things up with, with a fire spell again. Mm, yeah, I think we're gonna summon this. We're just gonna do this while they move through there. Yeah, it's just too strong right now. I, I, I didn't use to cheese these fights like this. I could have done this with every fight, basically. Open this up already and just just wreck them with the initial thing. And I didn't do that so far, but I think now it's starting to become a little bit more crucial against these guys. So we are going to start do that now. Okay, we've got the... The last one back there, which is still out of our reach, but I don't really want to move. So, Medora, encourage, please. And then she's going to end her turn, which will give her... No, she's going to rage as well, and then she's going to end her turn. Uh, I hope that the decreased hit chance is not going to be a problem, but we'll see. So he's going to move, he's going to burn a bit. Yeah, they're going to keep hitting the Decapitator for now, I guess. Nope, this guy goes back. He's still not vulnerable. He tries to cause fear, but he gets nobody. That's 3,000 damage. What the hell? Okay, that's not okay. Also fine. Oh, so the poison slug is feared, so that's a bit of a bummer, but I mean, that's fine. He's still soaking up damage, which is all we really needed from him right now. So let's just uh, move on from here and see what it's going to be. Yeah, range precision stance. Should I just shoot the guy back there? I think I want to shoot the guy up front, though. And I get two shots as well. But they don't deal that much damage right now, yeah. It's not ideal. He's still very far away. 
But we could possibly try this. I could go with the Forked Lightning. Yeah, we might stun him and it should chain through to the one behind and kill him. There we go. That works. So he is stunned for one round. Good. Anything else we want to do here? Yeah, I think we'll do this. He's feared. Medora isn't. So I'll switch these two. Which puts Medora right in front of him so she can a lot easier uh, get the kill there, basically, against him. So he is going to delay right now. Yes. She'll get the kill with Flurry. Let's do that. Thank you so much. And then she's going to back away by two. And end her turn. Because we want him to be coming closer again. He's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna not take any damage, of course, and he will be able to hit her. But it's not that horrible. So let's get ri rid of that invulnerability now. And that is, unfortunately, all she does. I could heal her, maybe, but I don't think so. Headvice, get the blind going. He's blinded, so he's he's not a danger to us right now. In any way. And then... Does he just deal damage? No. That's not a good call. I could summon in this thing. Sure, let's summon in a little bit of help. But we're gonna be relying on Medora here again. Uh, quite a bit, I think. Let's also haste her while we're at it. And then it's a new turn, and he gets to go first instantly again. I might as well go with the head vice in this case, just do a little bit more damage. And then freeze him? Sure. I mean, we might as well. He's not gonna, he's not supposed to be alive at the end of this round, and if he is, him being frozen is just gonna be helpful. It's also taking care of her problem here, so yeah. Let's do this now as well, because he's frozen, he should not be able to evade, so we're just gonna wreck him a bit. Goodbye. There we go. They are giving out some, some nice XP and uh, items though, and maybe we can use the Tenebrium bars for something still. So I'm just gonna pick those up with, with her as well, um, when I see them, at least. So they usually come in groups of threes, which seems manageable, but more than that is a problem, that's for sure. And we will probably have to... yeah, we're gonna have to switch his rings again. So let's do that and that, and then we can go back to Medora and... Hello? Nope. I want all. There we go. Identify. That's a robe. A robe would be... Let's send that to Tharik and see what he could do with that. Oh, he has too much to carry? Possibly? We've got a Gambison. What does the Gambison do? Oh, it's plus speed. It's also armorating. Speed initiative. Maybe, Jahan. Maybe. So th what's up with those? 57, they're strength-based. They are for her as well. I would lose initiative and would lose the counter damage, but I would gain armor rating. We would gain HP. Yeah, I think we'll take those. Uh, and the more hit points are certainly very, very welcome. Let's check his 74 74 so no change what about you you've got an 82 already so this one's also not worth it so we can send that back to Medora alongside with some other stuff to decrease his uh, his his weight limit again a little bit let's let's actually let's let's get him his rings back right now that I see it, I can just go by this, and then let's sort by weight. Oh yeah, the silver ore. We can just drop that, I think. 
Sent those to Medora. Small bone totem. Yep, we still don't know what to do with that quest. Medora. And... Now it's, now it's fine again, I think. So, let's keep moving. But which way do we move? Probably still towards the waypoint first. It's going to give us experience and it'll... Show us something, and the swamp doesn't sound inviting at all. So I'm not sure what we can expect there. Probably more death knights, or more demons. The demons aren't an issue right now. Oh, they're also mud lords. They're not the, the same demons that were up there. But there are more of them. Let's avoid that group right now and move towards the... The waypoint still. Okay, so we've got a different approach towards this uh, the source temple entrance. Although this feels like I should explore this entire swamp. Yeah, there's a big group of these guys down there. But let's do this. Yep, so that's our waypoint. So they're weak against air. Which means we should open this up with him throwing some chain lightning down there. Let's go. Ah, oh, boo. Didn't quite work out the way I had planned it, but... Oh god, that's also a huge group. Okay. I'm worried. So let's take another look here. Uh, air is weak. Earth is strong. What about these things back here? Air is weak. Earth is also strong. Okay. So no earth damage. Got it. Yeah, let's, let's set up a summons down there. We want to divert some attention from us. If we can. Okay, this doesn't have the reach. She also can't really shoot anything from here yet. Do I just want to summon in a spider since they're also going to be down there? Yes, I think we do that. No, we summon in a poison slug. That thing's still just better. Which means it also needs to go over to here because we apparently... Well, we can set it up there. Yeah, okay, so let's do that instead. Just to cover this way because I think at least this one is going to run up in this direction. And I feel much safer with a little bit of a buffer in between us. Let's encourage with her. And then she is going to rage and then end her turn. Yeah. Him. I cannot summon an air elemental. I'd love to get the hail attack in there. But I should probably see about getting a head vice hit. But we can't. So let's delay and hope that that's not going to be a mistake. Let's see where they go now. These guys will be ranged, but these look more melee, of course. And they apply poison on hitting us, I think. So we, uh, we're just immune to the poison there. That's a hit. So, so far, these don't worry me too, too much. And there we go. He said weak on Tharik and Chiawell. The others all failed. Chiawell is also encumbered. I don't know what that means. He's carrying too much weight. Oh, so I'm unable to run. Yeah, okay, minus two strength. There we go. Also weak. But this is... Right now, this is still fine. They're not dealing a lot of damage to us. Right now, it's mostly status effects. But I hope we can deal with this. They've got a pretty decent-sized hit point pool, I think. And there's also a lot of them. Okay, he petrified him. That's bad. Wow, these guys are... Pretty brutal. Uh, 
Oh, that does deal damage, though, I think. So at least we're good there. He's not going to be able to deal damage, but he can move in. I should have brought the blob down there. That's... I mean, we know that now, but it didn't know it prior. So I need this, which costs 11 to use. I have 4, 8, 10, which means I'm missing one right now. So we should probably headvise one of the ones that are closest to us. Good damage, we got the blind, and then I'm going to end my turn with him. And now Tharic gets to go first. Let me see about this again. Uh, yeah, they are water-resistant a bit, but I can't pass up the chance to hit all of these guys over there. Basically, same for his meteor shower, but I'm going to go with the same. We're going to headvise him in this case. Just, no, and the blind failed. That's a bummer. So we'll try bitter cold instead. See if we can get him frozen. Good. So these two that are close towards us right now aren't a big thread yet, at least. So what's our next order of business? Arrow spray does not seem like a good call here. Well, it's not bad, but it could be way better. He is our... Could be a good target, though. Or this one could be, if it moves... But maybe I just want the shots. And I do have a 100% shot against him, too, to be exact. So, yeah, we're going to take those. Critical hit. Good. And again. Not nearly as good anymore. So this one's frozen. I could just... Go down to here and start wrecking things with her, or try to. But we could also go here. Yes. It's a little bit safer, but still aggressive in terms of approach. That one's knocked down. But we might as well get the flurry cooldown started and get the kill. While we're at it, and that's gonna be all for her. Okay. He can go with his hail attack now. It would hit this guy, but he is already petrified, and that's going to stick around for two more turns. If I move a little bit, would that be helpful to us? I think I'm just going to stick with hitting these, just these two, because I don't think we can get the guy to... Oh! There we go. Actually, we can. So I've killed one of these, which gave us a lot of experience. We froze both of these. The Undead Decapitator is actually still alive. Oh, there's another one back there. I thought there was another one. Luckily, he couldn't hit us. Okay, let's keep hitting the frozen one, just because he's an easy target to hit right now. Oh, no, I'm regenerating him. Hit points. Whoops. Okay, so they actually do have poison resist. That wasn't the plan. Or he has that now? What? Did I miss that? No. Is that earth damage? What the hell? Why does he heal through that? I'm confused right now. A little bit. But that's okay. Gonna teleport him down there. Just out of where we have to worry about him. I think that's probably for the best. Yeah, these guys do worry me a bit right now, though. We can't leave those lying around, so I think we might... Yeah, we, we're gonna do this after all. It's still good damage. If I hadn't healed him, it would be even better damage. That's for sure. But now, yeah, I need to go... Do we need to go deal with... Yeah, I think we need to go deal with this one. So I can hit him once the normal way? No, I can move to... Yeah, no, that's fine. Let's do this. 
We hit him like this once, and then I go with the crippling blow on the second one. He does still die, so it's it's good. Okay, you can also still teleport. This guy's also still frozen. But let's just bring him all the way down to here. And that way we have them all in one spot. They keep hitting the decapitator, interestingly enough. I don't mind. Oh, he fell down. That's perfect. So he's he's apparently all around bad, so I'm not going to use him any longer. And we're going to go back to doing what we do better. Oh, God. Yeah, I could thunder jump down here. But it does worry me a bit. But no risk, no fun. So stun failed on both. But we did get some okay damage, I guess. What are his ones again? They are earth and water. So both unacceptable against these guys right now. Which means, yeah, I go for the piercing damage. This one's still frozen. I cannot hit this one. So yeah, a little bit of self-healing plus piercing damage right there. That's fine by me. Chia well. Now we should be able to ricochet these down, though, hopefully. I hope they move down. They don't! So that was a waste. Oh, boy. She needs to move. Not very fast, but she needs to move. Let's get the crippling hit. Crippled fail, but... Oh, well, what can you do? And then we are going to not move you at all. Yes, I'm gonna wait. Instead, no head vice is still on cooldown, unfortunately, so what is our next big thing? Possibly summoning in an ice elemental down here could be valuable. Just for the, the ice damage and the chance to freeze these guys again. I like that. Oh, okay, the Mud Huntress goes over to there. That's perfectly fine. And if this one decides to hit the, the Ice Elemental instead of going after a Medora, we can also work with that. This one stands back up. Yep, he's gonna hit Tharik though, but they don't deal that much damage. So the Death Knights really are an exception to a lot of things, I feel like. Could this one just stop, please? Let's just move him. Nope, I ended his turn. It's fine, I don't mind. Okay, with a bit of luck, it's going to kill the one and penetrate through through the other. Hey! It did, but it didn't do as much as I wanted it to. That's still fine. I'm going to keep hitting this one and hope that we get the kill, which we do. And then we're all good. Nope, I'm not going to move out of there. Oh, Ice Elemental goes first. So I'm going to hit him one now because... Um, because otherwise I would get counter uh, I would get attacked of opportunity against, or whatever you're going to call it. And we obviously can't have that. Whoa, really? Really? No, that's not okay. You die. That's what I like to hear. That's better. And end her turn. Cannot reach. Um, I'm going to delay because I don't know where that thing is going to go right now. He can't kill me, but I should still kill him. But I want to deal damage back here as well. But no, we're... No, I pressed the wrong button. I, I, I healed him again. Whoops. I'm sorry, guys. Shame on me. Let's see if maybe this can, can deal enough damage. I don't think so. Oh, it can. Thank you. Oh, boy. Please. Yeah, okay. Comes back. That's better. And she fell down. Really? She's just so slow. Oh, she was she still weak? That might explain why she wasn't able to move at all. Um, yeah, let's go for five. That should bring him in close enough that I could possibly target this one already. Yeah, we're in range, so next round. Next round. 
Let's go with the head vice right there. Got a blind. And what do we do? Also can summon in one of those, I think. Since I have the points left over and it's really cheap to do that, apparently, right now, might as well. Chill. Can you shoot from up here already? Yes, we can, but we can't get a clear shot at him. And now I don't have the points left over, so let's just... I don't know. Medora, move for three down to here. It's not quite enough yet. Target is blocked. Can we get it now? Hello, please? I can get all the way there. Seriously? Hello, please? Target is still blocked. There we go. So at least we did a little bit of damage and we're right there now. Um, so if we get another round, we can do that uh, next round. Or we can, we can get an easy kill next round, I think. But I'm just gonna go with, the, yeah, with that one right there. And then we can hit this one a little bit more. See, we could also try to get the bleed. Nope, failed. But that's okay. Does this one actually get to do something? No, I thought so. So what's next? He can't really do much in terms of damage. Well, Immolation, I guess, is the next best thing we can do here with him. Yeah, that's... Wow, okay. That's actually not bad at all. She still can't get the the line of sight going, so... I mean... Yeah, sure, let's do this, I guess. No, that's Earth damage. That's gonna heal. Oh, I haven't run into people that heal through Earth damage yet. I'm letting myself get so confused by this. I mean, it's still fine. It's over now. But what the hell? Okay, these are giving us good XP, though. And if there's another fight like this in here, it might be enough to, to give us the level up with a bit of luck. Uh, so, yeah, I'm probably gonna... Yeah, we're gonna see about the swamp more. There's just a deer there. But let's get to looting first. An old air staff. Full plate armor for her. She also fell down. So we'll have to wait a moment. Ein Flammenschwert. Um, so that's a flame sword for everybody that's not capable of speaking German. I'm not sure why they actually call it a, call it a Flammenschwert here. Or not. Uh, yeah, this is weird. Oh, uh, really? Ah, oh, it's all the ice is still there. So while we wait, might as well... Uh, switch to equipment again and sort by type and then we take this one and we take still not nope do I still have it equipped no pickpocketing earth what is it oh it's there it's still there whoops I'm just confused as per usual nothing new there so now it's gone the tormented soul is also worth money and now I can get to identifying this one might be better for her already. It is... Oh, the plus two strength is so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't ignore that. Plus two strength is too strong. Also strength-based. We would lose HP. I would be immune to slow instead of crippled. And the just the two armor rating, I think, is not good enough right now. And then we've also got this staff, which could be for... Jahan, of course. We'll have to see about that. And let's switch this back for him. That's one, and this is two. So first of all, we are going to heal Thalric. That's for sure. And then let's check the... Let's check the staff that we've just picked up, shall we? It is... Whoa! Okay, also the... Mm, chances here are the important things I think right now, but the earth might be better than the air just because earth right now is bad and air is actually pretty good overall, so I think I'm actually gonna switch yeah, we're gonna go with that so do I now just check out this area first or no, I don't know also the staff looks freaking nice I think. That looks really cool. Yeah, I think we're gonna now 
just go back towards the beginning here and we're gonna figure out the swamp first and see what that's going to be and then we've got this area that we can go up to behind uh, this so where the we couldn't enter through here we might be able to enter through there uh, but we'll see we'll see oh what's this a watchful eye goes first what does it do Okay, I'm not okay with that. What the hell? Okay, that is... These murky waters stink I also didn't get to save. Now to hunt and flay I didn't save after fighting these guys. Oh, I always save, and now I forgot about it. And I was thinking, hey, should I end the episode here? No, let's 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 look a little bit around longer. And then that happens. So I regret everything. So yeah, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna end the episode now, and then I'm gonna fight these guys again without you guys watching, and then we're gonna continue from there on out. Sounds like a plan. I think so too. So yeah. <laughs> this is where we're gonna end today's episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and a comment and if you want to see me play more divinity original sin enhanced edition apparently more than necessary as well just stick around so as always thanks for watching i hope that you will tune in the next time and have a nice day bye guys